Well, new tonight here at 11 o'clock, video from a controversial protest some say does not tell the whole story. Now, we've heard Metro's account of why officers detained legal observers at Saturday's protest. Orko Mana joins us now live in studio tonight after talking with one of those legal observers and is getting their account. Orko? Well, Denise Sheriff Joe Lombardo says the legal observers who were taken into custody over the weekend were interfering with the events of the protest. Metro Police sharing new video to back up their claims. But tonight, one of the detained legal observers tells me the footage does not show the full picture. And they detained me. They brought me back through the line. They put a zip ties around my wrist. Christopher Peterson is one of at least six legal observers who were detained Saturday during this Black Lives Matter protest on the Las Vegas Strip. He says just moments earlier, Metro police officers gave him permission to go through their line so he could document what was happening. That's what legal observers do. They're also clearly identified with these red shirts. So we try to get close enough without interfering or blocking any duties that the officers are doing to collect that information so that we can do our job. It is the job of a legal observer to be neutral. This did not happen on Saturday. Metro Police pushing back, releasing this video Tuesday, claiming that some legal observers were acting aggressively. They're seen here in between protesters and officers. Sheriff Joe Lombardo saying they were antagonizing and obstructing the police. One of the legal observers shoved her cell phone camera up to an officer's face in a comfort confrontational manner. Another legal observer left the medium divider and approached a police vehicle and leans into the window, seemingly leading a crowd of aggressive protesters. But Peterson says the proximity to police is sometimes part of the job. Being close enough to an officer to make the necessary observations may put us relatively close to an officer. Peterson wants more transparency and says the video released by Metro does not paint the full picture. If it happened and it was inappropriate, there should be body cam with a mic attached to it making it clear about what was going on. I would like to see that. An attorney representing Peterson and two other legal observers told me tonight they have their own video that shows more of the story. They plan on releasing that footage later this week. Denise.